Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Have you ever run a query and wished that you could save the result set of the query as a permanent table? In Access, that's exactly what the Make Table queries do. A Make Table query creates a new table as the output of a query instead of simply displaying a query result set. This new permanent table can be useful in a variety of ways. You could use it as the basis for other queries, it could serve to back up important data, or it could show selected information from multiple underlying tables in a single table, which you could then export to Microsoft Excel for spreadsheet style analysis. Since the basis of the Make Table Query is a standard select query type, you can restrict the columns and rows that are displayed in the new table by picking just the fields you wish to view and applying query criteria. The fields that comprise the new table created from the Make Table Queries result set retain the data type and field size properties that were assigned to the original fields. However, other properties that you may have set for the base table's fields will not be inherited by the new fields, so you may need to re-enter validation rules and other table properties in the new table if needed. To create a Make Table Query, first create a standard query in Design View. Select only the fields that you want to include in your new table, and use criteria to restrict the rows selected if needed. Then simply click the Make Table button that appears in the Query Type group of the Design tab in the Query Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to change the query type. In the Make Table dialog box that appears, you can type a name for the new table that will be created when you run the query. You can also select whether to place the new table into the current database or into another database by selecting the desired option button. If you select the Another Database choice, then you will have to click the Browse button and use the dialog box that then appears to select the database file into which you want to place the copy of the new table. Now when you've selected where to place the new table, click OK in the Make Table dialog box. Now once you are ready, you can run the query to create a new table. Starting in Access 2010, when you run a Make Table query, Access will delete the old select query. So, if you want to keep a copy of that query, you should save a copy before running the Make Table query. A dialog box will actually inform you of this if you forget. Now once you're ready, you can simply run the query to create the new table. You'll see a dialog box appear that confirms how many rows you're about to paste into the new table. Click the Yes button in the dialog box prompt to paste the selected rows and fields into the new table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.